I see myself never using this again, ever. Jackass Bray. my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing this concealer this is the Maybelline um, age rewind concealer and this is a very famous concealer almost all the bloggers and youtubers they love this concealer it's almost everyone's favorite so today I am here to review this one give you my honest opinion on this concealer well I have used this one uh, once or twice maybe and I used it at night time so I couldn't exactly tell and I also use this for a very short period of time like for one or two hours so I can't uh, uh, I couldn't uh, like actually find out whether it worked out or not but one thing I found out is that it is lighter than my skin tone and I don't like concealers lighter than my skin tone and look at this mess like it's so messy here I don't like this sponge kind of thing so yeah, not a very big fan of this. It just sticks onto the, like there is so much of wastage of product, you can see. So yeah, not a very big fan of this sponge. But I have seen in a video that you can pull out this sponge. But I don't want to do it right now because it's a new concealer. So yeah, now today I'm going to be reviewing this. So let's just get started. So first of all, I'll apply primer onto my face. Sorry, you have been seeing this primer for the past thousand years, I guess. But yeah, can't afford a new primer right now. I have used this one without a primer and it didn't feel so good. Uh, yeah, so I prefer, let's see how it works under a primer. If it works great under a primer, then okay, that's good. Then that's good, I mean, like. Yeah, we are supposed to use primers on our face before applying makeup. So yeah, it is a makeup step, which we should not skip. So yeah. Okay, priming is done. Now, let me zoom you guys. So the primer is done, now I'm just gonna use the concealer, wish me luck. Well this is lighter than my skin tone as I mentioned earlier so we will just uh, ignore that thing and just concentrate on the uh, texture and all that, okay? I look like a clown right now, which means I have applied my concealer <laughs> correctly. Now let's try to blend this. see this is so so light um, just not my shade well I'll be very very honest the blending was really nice like it was super smooth with the primer on I look like a fair and lovely advertising girl right now. I see myself never using this again, ever. If any one of you want this one, then do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely donate this one to somebody. Let me come closer and show you guys the blending. It do blends easily since the shade is so horrible on me. It looks disgusting. It is a little bit drying, not little bit but it is drying on the skin and right now I just can't watch myself let me uh, try to 
balance this out with a foundation of my shade. Now we will see how it works on top, like underneath the foundation. Because I usually use concealers um, underneath my foundation, like if the concealer is so light. Like, but this one is way too light, I'm not going to use this one again ever. I've used the concealer directly onto my face because I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers and those uh, bloggers they say that you can uh, use this concealer like they use the concealer on an everyday basis uh, directly onto their face they don't use foundation they just use the concealer so that was the reason why I used it like that otherwise if you are someone who uh, use your concealer on top of your foundation then yeah you can go on do that do you guys see any kind of improvement? I don't at all. Like, I cannot go out with this face. I don't know what, what should I do now. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. You see the concealer is definitely drying. Um, yeah, and it's not the best feeling. I am not at all getting the best feeling with this concealer. I don't know. I just don't like concealers, guys. Like, yeah, I would love to layer my foundation like a concealer rather than using a concealer because I feel concealers are very oily and uh, like, yeah, kind of sticky. And this one is also very, very sticky. Like, it is very sticky. I could show you guys how sticky this is but uh, it definitely feels very very sticky on the face and yeah I have used the Maybelline Fit Me concealer it also had the same feeling uh, stickiness but I used the Wet n Wild concealer this was something which worked out for me this is the only concealer that worked out for me I guess but yeah otherwise this one I don't know if I should get a right shade or it's like it's just not the shade but <sighs> I don't like it I just don't like it and apart from being lighter than my skin tone I feel this is sticky and it is a little bit drying at the same time I mean I just can't explain not the biggest fan let me um, try to settle down this whole situation over here and then I'll talk uh, much about the concealer so guys I'm back and this is the makeup like I have just done my eyebrows my lipstick and some bronzing over here to kind of balance out everything and now it looks good on the camera I know that but in real it looks horrible dangerous and horrific anyways I am going to click a picture of mine uh, using my phone and, a f and the flash and I'm, I'm just gonna see if uh, there is any kind of flashback or white cast on my skin I'm just gonna see how the photo turns out to be so yeah I hope I'm getting the right angle dude like I will attach the picture but look at the picture guys like my face looks like a white color boot and look at the body color like even the camera is not doing justice to this bad picture you know but I will put a picture somewhere here I will attach it and you guys see it and you will know how horrible this one looks yeah definitely this, this looks very very horrible okay guys so now let me give you my final reviews on this concealer so I just cannot sit anymore with this makeup on I was about to shoot another video but I just like I just I'm not doing that because I'm completely off now like my mood has gone completely down because I had very high expectations with this concealer I bought this one with so much expectations but I thought this would be my perfect match 
and yeah but it is not I have although used this once or uh, once or twice I think once I've used this one but it was at the night time and I couldn't really tell that it was so much lighter to my skin tone but today after using this again I am just shook so yeah now even if I have balanced it out with a mm, uh, bronzer still I cannot go out with this makeup on I just can't because you guys have seen the pictures uh, the front camera would do uh, good I think but the back camera oh my god the picture looks terrific let me click one with the front camera let me see how it turns out well 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 in the front camera also my under eyes look <laughs> look so bad like look at this my face looks so much white um, I just can't imagine you. Anyways, uh, let's now first uh, talk about the packaging. So packaging wise, um, it is good plus it is not so good. This applicator over here, this is very very messy. You cannot just take out the right amount like you are rolling it and ro you're just rolling and rolling it and, and the amount just doesn't come out and then suddenly it comes out with a whole lot of amount and you just cannot apply it all over your face and then you close the cap it sticks onto the cap and that product is just wasted so there is a lot of wastage of product in this sponge kind of thing so not a very big fan of the packaging again yeah so I would give a three out of five for this packaging not three two and a half I guess yeah two and a half out of five for this packaging. okay now coming to the shade as you guys have already seen this is in the shade sand and this does not completely like does not at all matches my skin tone it looks super super light and it is super super light so this shade is also a thumbs down for me it's kind of zero out of five now talking about the texture and consistency and all that like this concealer it do blends very nicely with a beauty blender I have used a brush uh, before when I used it on the f in the first time I tried blending this one with a brush but again with the brush it look it would look more cakey because the uh, sponge soaks up some uh, product excess product but the brush don't so yeah I would prefer sponges over brush for everything whether it's concealer foundation always uh, try to use a beauty blender this is the best thing if you wanna your makeup you if you want your makeup to be flawless but obviously this doesn't look flawless at all <laughs> this looks flawless on the camera but not in real guys it doesn't so yeah it do blends very nicely and if this was my shade then I think it would have looked good but because the blending was good it was good but let me zoom you guys and show you that the uh, uh, concealer you see uh, this it, it it's a little bit cakey and as I mentioned earlier sticky and it also kind of sticks onto these clings onto my um, lines fine lines and all that so yeah I'm sweating so you can definitely see uh, the texture of this concealer it's lighter but I think if the shade was correct then it would have maybe looked good on the skin and it maybe uh, it would not have been so much cakey as it is right now but it feels a little bit drying and the stickiness I don't like the stickiness like if I'm using a concealer then I want it to be kind of matte but this one is a sticky matte kind of substance if you guys uh, understand what I want to say so yeah um, I would give it a 3 out of 5 yeah in the consistency and for blending I would give it a 4 out of 5 because it did blend it quite easily and very nicely so for blending I would give it a 4 out of 5 but for the cakiness and the stickiness the consistency the texture and all that I would give it a 3 out of 5 now coming to the last point that is pictures this concealer is definitely gonna show up in pictures as you guys have seen it I have given you proof this is definitely gonna show it in the pictures so that is something I 
absolutely hate and this is the only reason why I hate using lighter concealers like concealers you should use concealers that are one shade lighter to your skin tone but I don't usually do that I would layer my foundation uh, in my under eyes uh, rather than using a lighter uh, shade concealer because concealers usually show up on pictures like yeah I don't know about the high-end concealers maybe they don't show up in pictures because I have not used one but this concealer then the fit me concealer oh my god the fit me concealer it, it make me look like a boot uh, like yeah a real host so yeah I just don't like that concealer I have donated that concealer that was also not my shade so I've donated that to my cousin and this baby out here this is also going to get donated i guess i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one but yeah if you're watching my video and if you want this one then do let me know in the comment section below if you stay near anywhere near my house and if you are someone who know me so yeah because this is not my shade and I'm not gonna use it ever and ever. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys really liked this video and it was also helpful. Uh, it was my brutally honest review on this concealer right here. I had really very high expectations with this one but yeah, it just didn't work out for me and it is... Uh, it do blends well but it is cakey, it is sticky, it shows up on pictures and this is not my shade so obviously a uh, thumbs down and I'm not gonna repurchase this one neither I'm gonna use this one right here again ever in my life so anyways if you guys find this video helpful as I mentioned please share this video and also if you guys like this video then don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and yeah you guys can also follow me up on my social media handles I do upload videos on my IGTV so if you guys like my videos then you can follow me on Instagram for more videos and more content and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye